Hello, my name's Liz Davis. I'm the curator of St Neots Museum. While the museum's closed, we're going to make a few videos looking at different items in the collection so that you can still see what uh, we have at the museum, even though we're closed. The first object we're going to look at today is a tin of Cowan Gate milk. And this is uh, to do with the St Neots quads who uh, were born in 1935. Anne, Ernest, Michael and Paul were born at 35 Ferrers Avenue on the 28th of November 1935. Uh, they were all premature and they were born to Walter and Doris Miles. And um, almost as soon as they were born, as soon as it was known they'd been born, uh, they became an absolute world sensation. Uh, people were coming, uh, the press were coming from all over the world to get a glimpse of these babies and local people were also wanted to see them as well. Um, very shortly after they were born, Cow and Gate Milk offered to help out and sponsor the babies in return for the ability to use them in advertising. And this red tin, which is actually from the 1950s, um, shows cow and, is for cow and gate milk. It shows their um, their baby, Smiler, who was on the front of all the tins at that time. He's wearing a royal crown, which shows that uh, cow and gate said they were the food of royal babies, but they were also the food that the quads were being fed on uh, once they got a little bit older. So I'm just going to put that up there. Uh, so here is a picture of the quads when they were two days old. Uh, this is with their dad, um, Walter Miles. And you can see the four babies tucked up in the two armchairs in the front room of their Ferrers Avenue home. Um, with Mr Miles still in his working clothes. So they were born on um, November the 28th, they were delivered by local doctor, um, Dr. Harrison, and by um, district nurse Mailing and um, Mrs. Miles's mum um, as well. Um, once they were born, very tiny babies, uh, Dr. Harrison realised almost immediately that they wouldn't be able to stay in their own home because there was uh, the only heating was the fire in the front room. You can just see that in the back there. And um, with all these thousands of people coming to see them, uh, they might catch an infection, which would be very serious when they were so tiny. Uh, so he decided that um, he would move the babies to his house called the Shrubbery in St Neots. And he also got on to Great Ormond Street Hospital. And you can see two of their nurses in this um, postcard of the babies when they were a bit older. And Great Ormond Street had um, a programme where nurses could come and help out people um, with babies who needed help. And the babies uh, were very tiny to begin with. Um, they were an absolute, absolute overnight sensation. Here's a picture of the Daily Mail um, front cover uh, showing the four babies. And um, they were on the front covers of newspapers all around the world because uh, it was a miracle that they'd all um, survived once they'd been born. Um, while they were being cared for in the shrubbery, their, um, their parents were only able to see them um, on special occasions. This is Christmas Day 1935 and Walter and Doris Miles are shown here holding their babies. Um, Cow and Gate were so keen to um, promote the babies and talk about them and how famous they were. They even produced uh, snap cards showing the four babies um, which you could uh, which you could get. And uh, the snap cards show the babies. Uh, there's another one showing um, a mother with a tin of cow and gate. Or uh, the, the doctor might have prescribed the cow and gate for your babies. Uh, the milkman might be delivering your cow and gate milk. Or um, you might even get a flying tin of cow and gate milk. And uh, I think this photo is relating to the fact that... Um, milk had to be flown in for the babies um, because Mrs Miles couldn't produce enough milk on her own and uh, Dr Harrison's daughter was actually a qualified pilot 
And some of the time she was able to um, fly in breast milk from London hospitals for the babies. As you can see, uh, the tins are flying in in this card. So the babies were um, growing up at Dr. Harrison's. By June 1936, they were um, strong enough to be christened and they were christened in Ainsbury Church. And here you can see them in their christening robes with um, Doris and Walter and two of the Great Ormond Street nurses. Um, all these cards came from sets of cards that were um, printed and produced for, um, for the babies. And uh, you could buy these cards in sets um, and the money went to help support the babies. Uh, here is a, uh, uh, an invitation to the Quad's um, christening, which was sent to Dr. Patterson, who was another local doctor, and he donated that to the museum some time ago. Um, once the babies were older and they'd been christened and they could come back to live with their parents and with Gordon, their older brother, uh, they moved into a house in New Street, which is now William Hill Betting Shop. And uh, this is a picture showing them in the nursery that Cowan Gate built at the back of that house, which is still there now and is a separate business now. Um, so they moved into their house in New Street and lived there for many years. Um, they were given all sorts of different things um, throughout their lives by well-wishers and people um, hoping to get a bit of the sort of quads magic rub off on them. This is a tankard that was presented to Paul Miles. Uh, we're not sure if he ever used it, but he's given it to the museum now. Um, when the babies were uh, grown up and were adults, um, Cow and Gate sponsored them until they were 21. When they were 21, they held a slap up party for them in a hotel in uh, London. And you can see the four quads at the back here and other multiple birth babies that Cow and Gate had sponsored in the front. And um, that does look like a, um, a special event. So we've got lots of information about the quads at the museum. We've also got um, one of their cots. Of course, they needed four of everything. Uh, we've also got a high chair. So come along to the museum when we reopen and have a look at the information and objects that we've got about the St Neots quads. Thank you for listening and see you again soon.